In problem number 36 of section 1.4, we're given a function modeling the acceleration of a particle, and we're asked to find the velocity of the particle at an arbitrary time t, uh, given an initial condition that the velocity at time 3 is equal to 6. Uh, now, uh, we want, so essentially we want to uh, integrate the acceleration function. So v of t will be the integral of 2 over uh, square root of 6t squared plus 24 uh, dt. And we can rewrite this a little bit and write 12 over uh, square root of 6 times uh, t squared plus 4. Uh, which will let us factor out the constant. Um, so we'll end up with 12 root 6 over the square root, or excuse me, over 6 if we rationalize the denominator. And that simplifies to 2 square root 6 and times the integral of 1 over square root of t squared plus 4. Uh, now we can use uh, proposition 1.4.7 to, uh, to solve this, or alternatively we could uh, make a substitution using, uh, in this case we would want to use uh, inverse of cinch. Uh, but we know that this is just going to, um, this will equal uh, inverse cinch of t over uh, 2, which is positive square root of 4, uh, plus a constant. Uh, so we have, you know, now we have a formula for the um, velocity at time t, but we just need to determine the constant. So we know that v of 3 is equal to 6, and it's also equal to 2 square root 6, uh, times inverse inch of 3 over 2 uh, plus a constant. Now, uh, if you plug this into a calculator, you'll see that this entire term is uh, approximately equal to uh, 0.15. This is 6 is equal to 0.15 uh, plus c, which, of course, means now that c is equal to uh, 5.85. So we can substitute that in for uh, the unknown value C. And we get the final answer for the velocity of, a part of the particle at time t.